How to show a discount on your product page on Shopify step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with showing a discount on your Shopify pages. So if we go into our online store over here and I show you guys my all product section. So this is our all product section. In this all product section, you guys can see these items have been marked down. They have this little sale icon on them as well. So how can you show this discount on any product? And this is not applied site wide and all of the discounts are variable. This is marked down a lot. This is marked down half. This is marked down a lot. And then this is marked down a very tiny amount. So you can also create these variable discounts on your own with Shopify. Now, a lot of people might ask, what's really the point of creating these discounts? You know, I have a fixed price and I'm going to sell on that price and it's a you know really low price already. I don't have an, enough profit margins to further mark it down. Well, you're not actually marking the products down. What you're doing is a marketing strategy. The reason for this kind of strategy is because if we take this hoodie over here that I've created as an example, customers are more likely to be inclined towards buying a product when they see a sale icon. Plus, when they see the original price, hey, this used to be $60, I can buy this for $30, I'm saving $30. So that is going to be a larger incentive for customers to buy and spend more. People are very prone to this type of marketing and it's very easy to get more customers whenever you are displaying these sale icons and these markdown prices. So if you have a product that you're selling for maybe $30 and that's your final price, you're not going to sell it for any lower than that. Instead of actually marking it down, you're just going to put a cut price like this. So this is like a cut up price that you're going to put that is probably going to be slightly higher. You can make this double the amount of your actual price. You can make this triple. You can even make it like 30% more than your actual price just so it gives customers the sense or the incentive that, hey, I am saving money. I am not spending that much money. So I am just saving money. So I should purchase this product. And this can be a great strategy to apply to any kind of store. So to actually be able to do this, you're going to open up your Shopify store. Now, once you go into your Shopify store dashboard, you have two ways of displaying a discount. I will show you guys the second method later on. That's more so just adding a discount rather than displaying it. But to make this variable display discount, you're going to open up your Shopify store. In your Shopify store, you're going to click on product on the left side. Once you click on product on the left side, you can choose any product that you want to add a discount to. So let's say for us, this is going to be this dress over here. And once we add our discount, so I'm just going to delete some of the listing images like this. So we have these images over here and, you know, your entire listing is structured pretty much the same. So you have your description images and right below your images, you're going to have your variants. So what you want to do is you're going to click on any one of these variants and this pop up will appear. So when this pop up appears, you will see your price and then you will see your cost per item. So let's say that your cost per item is really for you to just calculate your profits. But if we just click on a bulk edit and click on edit prices, you guys will see that we have these prices added for our products. Now, keep in mind, this is a product that I'm using via CJ dropshipping or a dropshipping supplier. So to actually be able to add a discount on this type of product, I will actually have to go into CJ dropshipping. So you guys will see you have your prices, barcodes, and more options. Now I can click on edit prices and it's not going to give you the price margins to add over here. To edit prices on a dropship product, you do have to open up your dropshipping supplier so I can open that. But I'll show you guys the discount method on another product if you don't have dropshipping product, but I'll cover that later on as well. So let's say we have this item over here, which is a pink hoodie, which currently I'll just show you guys. The pink hoodie in our store right now it's listed for forty dollars it doesn't have any discounts and we're just going to go into our product section over here so once you go into product just click on your product over here and then you can scroll down and then you will have the prices on your product so you can click on any size and once you open up the size of the product you will see all of your variants and then you have your price and then your compare at price this is going to be the price that is going to be shown with a strike 
through to it. So what this will do is that if I enter the price as 100 at the compare at price, it's going to show the customers that, hey, this product was originally $100 and it has been marked down to $50. This is what the display is going to show the customers. So keep in mind that your compare at price is always, always, always going to be higher than your actual price. Don't ever make the mistake of going upside down on these and then accidentally adding the actual prices higher. Always make sure the compare at price is higher. So for all variants, I'm going to add the compare at price at $100. And another great marketing strategy that I have learned over the course of starting my businesses, you know, failing and then starting again and then having to build all over again was different sizes can potentially have different prices now this can go for different colors as well this can go for different sizes as well if you have an item from last year that you have sold in two sizes but the other two sizes are not selling at all so let's say this hoodie is not selling in the extra large size i'm gonna keep the compare at price at 100 and i would mark the item down more than the rest of the item so i would mark this down to maybe the original price is 55 let's say i'm going to sell this for 37 dollars, and then i can click on save over here this is just going to incentivize customers that, hey, this size is available for a cheaper price. Maybe I should get that. Maybe I can, you know, skip on the large size. I can fit in the XL as well or any size that is not selling. This works absolutely amazingly when you are doing this on colors because certain times you feel like a color will sell and then one of the colors is doing really well and the same product in a alternate color can be doing really well bad so for that situation you can do this strategy as well now we have applied the discount over here and now i'm going to show you the applied discount on our store so i'm going to click on view on online store and you will see the sale icon is here the markdown price is here and if i click on all products on the top menu or navigation bar and scroll down you will see this is our product it has been marked down and you will see that the cheapest price is the one that people will see in your Shopify store display. So this is why I love marking down a certain variant or a certain type of product in my individual product is that when you mark down a specific variant, it's going to show the lowest price for that item. So people will be like, hey, oh, this is $37. I want to buy this. They open it up and they select their size and they're like, hey, my size is $50, but this looks pretty good. I've already opened it up. I like the product already. And what's 10 more dollars to buy a hoodie? So people can add to cart like this. And then people can also look, oh, hey, the XL variant is $37. So maybe I should buy that instead. And these can be some of the little niche strategies that you can use to boost your sales on Shopify. It's a simple and easy mechanism to get more customers interested in your products. And this is how you can display your discounts on your product page on Shopify. Now, another way to do this is that you can go into your Shopify dashboard and click on discounts on the left side over here. Click on create discounts and you can build a certain type of discount. So if you want to display it, a, a free shipping discount, buy one, get one amount off of order or amount off of product. So you can click on amount off of products and you can make this an automatic discount or a discount code. And you can just advertise this code on your Shopify store, put it in your toolbar, and then add the percentage that this is going to give customers and the minimum requirements to be eligible for this discount. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.